another chest in here as well. A lot of hours, my legs hurt. Ooh, there's the execution as much as I liked my last run. A rally of the Trump variety. Oh, very nice. Well, if you enjoy the rally, my friend. <laughs> you could just say, uh, <laughs> political rally if you would like. No need to specify, my man. Hell yeah, dude. Let me even kill those guys. Yeah, standing up for long periods of time can be a crazy thing. It can indeed be. Ooh, okay. This is where we came from. I actually forget where the shortcut is. Oh, Jesus. Wait, did his... His attack actually reflect off of the wall? That poor item. What do you mean by that, Classified? Why is the item poor? Got a gun to Synergy, Corsair, and Glacier. Ooh. Oh, wait a second. I think I've, someone's told me about that before. That's pretty cool. We've gotten a Synergy at some point uh, with the Corsair, but I forget what it was. We, we had a freaking fantastic day of, uh, of Gungeon Uppity. We beat the Gungeon. We beat the Dragon twice. We then went on to beat the past, our first pass, which was also awesome. And we beat the Old King for the first time. Phenomenal. Poor item. Evelyn, where is this? Read the description. I need, I need. Discover special pis pistol used by the Canehurst Knights. The Evelyn uses quicksilver bullets, just as any workshop firearm. But the Canehurst variant relies more on blood tinge. Lovingly named after a woman graced with an intricate design, Evelyns are adored by the Canehurst Knights. Hmm. Why is that item bored? It seems somewhat nice. Ah, that's right. This is the shortcut. I think. I actually feel like the first time I came through here, I really struggled to find this. <laughs> it is somewhat hidden. It's pretty cool. Shoots Titanics. That is crazy, dude. Oh, shit. That is not what I was trying to do. Though this is the shortcut. That's fine. Can we get back up there? I do not think so. Wait, so... Oh, I think this, like, one of these opens up as well somewhere. So we now we gotta go all the way back around. All, I think. Or, yeah, no. We should have to go all the way back around. Interesting. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Look at that poor dead screeching, screeching creature right there. Such a shame. Such a sham. That poor. Oh, there was an item on the ground that I missed. You weren't talking about the Evelyn. I got you. I assume it was an item that I wasn't going to use. Maybe like that, uh... Maybe like those... What are they called? Oh, shit. Okay, we're fine here. I would like to hear your guess. What do you think, Ray? No one answer in chat. Do you believe in me or not? Regardless of what... <laughs> Regardless of what proof you may have seen. Oh, I remember. We need to go up the ladder now. <laughs> Dag, welcome in, man. How are you doing today? Tonight. Of course I do! So you think that I beat a Breedus? I know how I'd answer this. Yeah, I know how I'd, I'd answer this as well, because I was very much struggling when he left. Although I did actually get pretty close, so it wasn't too bad. Oh, wait. Hmm. I could have sworn there was, like, a shortcut up here, but maybe we had to go up there and then around to get the shortcut? Or maybe there isn't even another shortcut. I really don't know. Oh, I know I ran past it. I, for some reason, I felt like there was another one somewhere. But maybe it's farther up here as well. Don't you attack me. Ah, Jesus. Wait, what? Did... Oh, my God. What the? Oh, he's marking me. That's, that's right. <laughs> no, we, we didn't beat, we didn't beat Abritus. Uh, we ran out of beast blood pellets and then just, uh, <laughs> Called it for a while. We'll go back later and, and do it again. The warm blood gemstone. Hmm. Warm blood. If you jump up the step ladder and go to the right, there is a secret area. Maybe that's what I was thinking about. Remember, to be honest. Hmm. Anyway, let's keep going. Gotta check for those mimics. Hell yes, I do classified. I've been taken unawares by mimics too many times in the last two months. In Gungeon, especially in Dark Souls 2. I know, I know for a fact almost that there are none in this game. I do understand that, but still. 
there even anything up here? Forget. <laughs> I will check. I will check. Ooh, ooh, that would have been useful later on. I bet this is the chunk we missed last time we came through. Maybe? Yeah, it is. Those, those are the two we missed. Because there's five, we got three last time. Uh, that would have been kind of nice to have a lot earlier. Uh, not awful, but would have been kind of nice. So I think if... <laughs> I think what we might do for Abritus is go kill Garman, uh, and then Hunter's Mark out before Moon Presence comes, and then go kill the, uh, and then go kill Abritus. Oh, I remember this shit. We have to run through here every freaking time, I think, right? You get an armor set at Hunter's Tool in that secret area. Gotcha. Nice. Very good. Yeah, that's right. There's no lantern up here. Wow, this is gonna be... I forgot about this. Is the Hunter Tools you find the... What's it called? Those those blood, like, ninja tools? It's not a secret. There's there's a door. Ah, gotcha. Maybe just a mildly hidden door then. Not really a secret door. But <laughs> a slightly out-of-sight door. Oh, I did already go there. Okay, then I, I, then I got the two things that were over there. Perfect. Oh, golly gee. Okay, is this guy resistant to... What is, what is he vulnerable to? Does, does anybody know? Specifically? I take it he is strong... Sorry, he is strong against blunt damage and really weak against uh, pointy damage, stabbing damage, whatever it's called. Because I've only ever jumped there from the top of the bookcase. Interesting. I didn't even know you could jump there from the top of the bookcase. Yeah, you can loop around from a window on the other side, then it's a secret area you can jump across. Um, I believe. I, th I think that's what we're talking about, but maybe not. All right, let's let's try this. Let <laughs> let's try this. This is gonna be crazy. Ooh, Dagum, you have that six months of subscriber badge. I like it. Dagum is not one. Mega D is not one for tiny daggers. I think it's one hidden. Yeah, I bet so too, classified. We'll see. He's actually weak to blunt and thirst, and so it's slightly even weaker to fire than Oh, Very cool. Very cool. Good. <laughs> oh, God. This is going to be quite the trip. Give me your crown, poor Lagarius. Alright, here we go. Ooh! Wow, I actually didn't realize I could do that. I forgot about that! Wait, what? No, dude. I did not realize that. <laughs> Number four, four, seven arts, one armor. Hell yes, Dag. I mean, you can do it, man. It's a pot of kills me faster. This guy reminds me of a pot of interesting. I can see that. I can definitely see that. You got five hits in? No, I didn't. Okay, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got seven hits in because I got two trans. I got three transformations as well. Thick. I could have completely miscounted that. Just to clarify, there is not a quicker way in, is there? Lies! All oh, the lies! Uh, honestly, it very well could be a lie. <laughs> it very, very well could, well could be a lie. You know what they say about perception and the idea of the human mind lying to itself a lot? <laughs> uh, interesting. I'm actually quite surprised by that. I did not realize... Oh, shit. That's not the stage. I did not realize that, uh, wait, did I? I did run past the ladder again. 
I feel like there is, there has to be a shorter way through here, but I think I said that last time as well, and there was not a shorter way. Oh, I see what you did. You jumped down from the bookcases right there. That's actually very interesting, Ray. I don't think I've ever seen it done that way. Lies. So our damage is okay-ish against him. I'm, I'm not super worried about the first phase once we learn it. I'm really more worried about the second phase. It's pretty brutal. Uh, it can be kind of crazy. Slander! Blasphemy classified. Just abject blasphemy. Wait a second. This is, this is the right way. No, this is not the right way. Jesus, what the hell? There it is. So you need to take a hard right here every single time. So that attack does one hit us. We know that now. Uh, it also can go through walls. So our main form of protection in the first phase, which is walls, is really only vulnerable to that right there. I bet Dagum as well, especially if he freaking beats uh, Floor 4. Seven Hearts is pretty good. Uh, Platinum, hello, my friend. Welcome in, dude. All the hype indeed. How are you? The original Jim. It's good to see you, dude. Welcome in, everyone from Jim's channel. And thank you very much, man, for that host. I do appreciate it. How was the stream? The stram. The stream stram. How was the gaming? What, what were you playing? Doing some more Zelda speedruns, I hope. <laughs> You're shooting for another lick, lich kill, le le leak, lick kill, blue water bubbles, welcome in, the stream stram, that's right, hell yes it is indeed, how was it my man, and guys, by the way, if you want to see some speedruns, some Legend of Zelda speedruns, specifically, you should go drop the original Jim a follow, he's a delightful caster, a friend of the channel, and an established, well-to-do speedrunner. <laughs> we're buying a Pikachu Funko Pop off eBay. Hell yeah, Platinum. In order to let me know if you get it. And put a picture in the Discord if you do. That sounds pretty cool. All right. Let's really quickly... Let's do this. Let's do this a bit better than we did last time. So he is slightly vulnerable to fire, uh, I was told. Let's see how this goes. I always want to see how much of a tracker this is. It's not really that bad. It does explode, but it doesn't track too much. Oh god, oh god, no, 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 no! Huh. Looks like he'd be staggered. Oh my god, the freaking damage on that shit is crazy. Also, they slow down a bit. Well, just jumped in from Jim's stream and to say have a good stream, guys. Water bubbles, thank you very much, man. Thank you very much indeed. I hope you enjoyed Jim's stream. And, um, appreciate you stopping by, man. Have a great night. <laughs> two, two hits indeed. Yes, indeed, classified. <laughs> so it looks like it might be easier to dodge him if we just stay at close range all the time, but also he does have a fairly wide AoE attack, and he actually has a follow-up of his short sword as well, so we just need to be a little bit more careful. He'll do it's a special pop. The first punky Pokemon pop ever? The first one ever. I'm interested. Maybe? Does a target exclusive and they sold out immediately? No idea if they will get more. Holy shit! Wait, how expensive is it then if that was... <laughs> if that was how crazy it was? How unique, special it is. You were sub 140 currently. You know, I saw I saw someone tweeted out that uh, someone I don't know who it was beat Wind Waker in under an hour, which seems mind blowing to me. I mean, even with all the speed strats I've seen, like GDQs and stuff, it seems so crazy that that is even possible because that game is massive. It's oh god damn it, dude! Right? Isn't that crazy? That blows my mind. It blows my mind. All the fools freaking shooting me. So we're gonna try and get pretty consistent in this fight before we do start using fire paper, just because it'll be it'll make the fight a lot more consistent because we're more consistent and it will preserve resources. Hey, unremarkable, thank you very much for that follow. I do appreciate it, I really do. So people are stupidly trying to sell for 120 bucks. I mean, if it's if it's unique like that, it seems like uh it might be able to be sold for that much. Around someone selling it for 30. Well, they're definitely going to sell it. Maybe they just don't like it. <laughs> it seems like they would be able to. It seems like they would be able to. Yeah, Dagum is uh, pretty big into the speedrunning community. In general. 
Though he hasn't been running too much lately. Um, you have been running 20XX a bit lately, right? And you did reclaim some of your world records. Are those... Uh, actually, I'm kind of curious, Dagum. Are those getting taken down? Like, are those records getting beat? Uh, since the whole leaderboard got washed, right? I believe. Alright, let's do this. I wonder if we can parry this guy. I'm kind of curious. Does anyone know if it's possible? Because I would love to know. We're, we're going to probably scrub the leaderboard. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So you haven't yet, though. I actually have no idea how they didn't kill me, to be honest. There we go. I just, I just wanted to pull him away from the edge just a little bit because... I actually thought we were a little bit farther away, but though I haven't seen that very much uh, lately anyway, so. Actually, I actually haven't seen that phase transition at all. Okay, you can't, maybe you can. We should probably be a little bit more careful. Um, a significant change in the item that was zero for the run previously, so it's not really fair to have the runs. Yeah, absolutely, that makes total sense. That absolutely does. <laughs> My day has been really, really great, actually. We made so much progress in Gungeon. Beat the Dragon twice. Beat the, our first past. Beat the Old King. We did a bunch of really cool things. Uh, and now we're just having some fun uh, doing some shenanigans in, in, our, in Bloodborne, in Blood Level 4. Uh, just messing around. These are probably the two... Uh, the two remaining optional bosses in the base playthrough of Bloodborne, and probably the hardest as well. Very much have been struggling against them, but we're making we're making decent progress. All right, Raymon, enjoy your sleep, man. I appreciate you being here. It's a joy to have you. Stay excellent yourself, and I'll see you around, man. I will see you around. Oh God. Oh, I see. I actually didn't realize that. So if, it's, if he hits me with the damn uh, blow dart, that's when I get marked like that. How has your day been, Platinum? How have you been, man? Um, I'm currently waiting for some info back from the community before I have uh, make too many changes, but I'm mostly proud to make them this weekend if I need to. Interesting, dude. Hell yeah. Well, good luck. Good luck to you, dude. Is you play this someday? You absolutely do, Jim. It is, in many ways, one of the best Souls Soulsborne games. It has so many interesting quirks, so many really phenomenal effects to it, and so many really some some of the most interesting areas in any of the Soulsborne games uh, by a pretty long shot. It's pretty cool. Like this area is insanely well hidden and just ridiculously hard to find if someone doesn't tell you or you just happen to stumble upon it. It's pretty crazy. And there's a whole boss here and a whole lore segment with a whole area. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool indeed. Yeah, dude, I would definitely recommend it. Whoa! Zagrifice! Hello, my friend. Welcome in, dude. How are you? How are you today? <laughs> it is good to see you, man. All right. Look at those awesome sub badges! Aren't they pretty nifty? I am enjoying them. These smaller versions, I've said before, are a little bit, a little bit iffy. I don't know how I feel about them because 18 pixels is a pretty small amount. But uh, yeah, I, I like how the bigger versions turned out quite a lot, to be honest. They are pretty damn nice, especially coming from me, who is only a mediocre artist. It's pretty good. How are you doing today? I am doing great, man. And we've had some really fun doing some games, making a lot of progress in games. We've been having some fun streams. It's been a treat. 
It has been a treat. Oh! What the shit? How did that hit me there? They freaking went through the floor. Normally they just evaporate. Normally just evaporate. At 8.5 hour day after which I came home and fell asleep, nice as long with this long days of work. That after exhaustion sleep is one of the best feelings out there. Hell yeah, dude. It is some Morton notebooks from my office. Nice. I got a Funko Pop on clearance for of I Rock from Ready Player One. Nice, dude. Hell yeah. Is that I Rock or One Rock? Or L Rock, a lowercase L. What could it be? <laughs> what could it be? All right, my dude, I had to pass out for work tomorrow, dude. Enjoy. Thank you again for the dose, guys. Definitely go follow Original Jam if you are not already and you want to see some stellar Zelda action. Thank you very much, dude. I'll see you around. And good luck with work tomorrow yourself. <laughs> you pronounce it correctly. Hell yes. Feels good, man. <laughs> Feels good, man. All right. Uh, we're getting a bit more consistent with this front, uh, this first stage. We need to make sure that we're not uh, getting too aggressive. It looks like that's when we're getting, we're taking a lot of damage. Uh, he just seems to really, if we get in too close and we stay in too close and we try and not. Uh... Oh shit! Oh my God! Let me up the ladder! What are you doing? Actually, I might die here. I don't think so, but maybe. Actually, maybe. Ugh. Oh, so damn close, dude. Actually, we're all out of blood vials. It seems like we do need to back off uh, when we go in and then and then jump back in. To maybe bait out his attacks. The, the sequence we got the two fights ago was actually the best we've had so far, where he just sort of spams his uh, like skull throw. And if we're really close to him, it's almost impossible for that skull throw to actually, actually hit us, because it just goes right over our head because of the slant of the roof, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Oh my god, that was way too close. Uh, so if we don't beat him this time, which again, since he has three stages, it's somewhat unlikely. We are going to go farm some more blood vials here in a second. Uh, which I don't really mind, but it does take a while. It does take a while. So we'll see. We, we will see. I rock from Ready Player One. So who is I rock in Ready Player One? I've never seen the movie. Explain to me, Platinum. Enlighten me, my friend. I think we might just need to dash. If we're at mid medium range, I think we might just need to dash. That attack just keeps catching its way. What the shit? <laughs> that blew up like 10 feet away. All right, that was a pretty bad fight in general. We need to be a bit more careful. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I didn't even see him cast that on the right hand side. That was kind of strange. I actually, so it was his big explosion attack. I don't know if it was just still floating around from earlier, if he can actually instant cast that. I don't think he can instant cast that. I feel like he has to charge it up, but maybe he had it channeled and cast it right as we hit him, something like that. All right, let's go farm some blood vials real quick. Do the boring stuff, find some, find some farm. <laughs> actually kill some things, which is nice. Um. I think since we're not using bees blood pellets here, we are going to put a lightning gem on our weapon. Because uh, I think we'll do more damage that way. Let's uh, let's go do that. Uh, we're going to put it on there anyway, because... Or we're going to put it on right now anyway, is what I meant to say. Actually, let's go attack blood tinge scale. I mean, we don't care about that. 
So it decreases our damage overall, but if they're vulnerable to the the type of damage, uh, then it increases our damage, even though it incre decreases our physical damage by like 30. Uh, so like against Abridas, if we're not using our Beast Blood Pellets, it's it's the way to go. And I think it might be the way to go against him as well. We'll, we'll actually see here, see here in a second. But first, it's definitely the way to go for these guys because they are highly resistant to physical but very weak to lightning. Uh, and so we can just kill them off in herds. Uh, we get 10k blood echoes each time we kill them in a rotation. And what we're going to be doing here, for those that haven't seen this before, is dying intentionally uh, after farming them all and then coming back and picking up the blood vials to save ourselves a couple loading screens. It just makes us a bit faster. It just makes this a bit faster. Alright. Here we go. And again, we, we just channel them through the door one by one. <laughs> or ten by ten. And they get stuck at the door, and then we can just murder them. There it is, 10k blood egg. He's a bounty hunter who hasn't been killed in 10 years of playing the game. He's hired to kill the main character in the game. He also voiced TJ Miller. Um... He also voiced, he is also voiced by TJ Miller, which makes the character absolutely amazing. Who is TJ Miller? What does he, uh, what else does he voice act? Just out of curiosity. All right, we, again, we are intentionally dying here, like I said. Um, take one more hit. And this does, I found, save us a pretty substantial amount of time, because otherwise, the only, the only other way to reset this area is to port all the way back to the area to our hunter's uh, workshop, and then port back here, which is two loading screens instead of one. Uh, cool. Let's, uh, let's keep going. <laughs> so we're gonna do this probably three, four more times, and then go back at it. And if we do it three, four more times, we'll probably, we'll have enough for around 60, 70 blood vials, something like that. I recommend Googling him. He's one of those people who has a famous face, but not a famous name. Ah, interesting. Very interesting. I will Google him. <laughs> I will Google him shortly, Platinum. When I say shortly, I mean probably during the next loading screen. TJ Miller. Interesting. Is he, does he act? Does he act in other things that aren't? Wait. If he's voiced by him, he should be the acting character, right, as well? Or is he, like, wearing crazy armor and shit in, in the game? Something like that. Yeah, very good. The other thing that's quite nice about this is it replenishes our bullets, uh, which is good. He is the bartender in Deadpool. Interesting. Huh. I've only seen that movie once. I actually just don't need to see the second one. I have not seen it yet, but I would like to at some point. All right, T.J. Miller, you say? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I definitely recognize that guy. That is hilarious. He's in Ready Play. He is the famous bounty hunter in <laughs> Ready Player One? What? DJ Miller. That is freaking hilarious. That's not, he, he is known for his comedy, right? I believe so. 90% like certain. <laughs> He's like the idiot, right? In a lot of different movies and shows. How the holy hell did he get the role... <laughs> the role of a famous bounty hunter. He got drunk and beat up a train full of people. And it, and is on Hollywood. Oh, wait, in real life he did? Or in the movie he did? Either way, that's kind of insane. But if it's in real life, it's definitely kind of insane. Yes, in real life? What the hell? That is the strangest thing I've ever heard in my life. First of all, how does a single individual beat up a whole train worth of people? That seems 
insane. Unless he's some kind of like karate Batman ninja. Might die here, we're good. We're good. Huh, interesting. I mean, if you gotta be known for being an idiot, you might as well be known for beating up a whole entire train of people. That's insane. That's absolute madness. Absolute madness, Dagon. And sacrifice for that matter. 